Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be doing my October book haul. So October was a really good month for new releases. So I have some new releases that I'm really excited to share with you in addition to some movies as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So starting out with movies, I first have Spider-Man Far From Home. And this is a movie that I did not end up seeing in theaters for whatever reason. I think just timing wise, it didn't work out because I wanted to go see it with my brother. Um, but he is very, he has a quite a big social life so it was hard to coordinate it and so I was really excited he came home from a tournament and my parents were out of town so it was just the two of us and I was like George look what I got so we watched this and I was really excited I he was very happy too because by the time we watched it they announced that it was back in the MCU so he was very happy about that he said this is actually his favorite of like the storyline so I definitely really like this one as well I definitely need to rewatch it because I was busy being the mother and cooking him dinner so I didn't see all of it um, definitely my parents and I are re-watching the Marvel movies in chronological order so we just finished Civil War so eventually we'll get to this for a re-one re-watch <laughs> re um, but yeah like I said I really enjoyed this one and then finally for a blu-ray that I also got this month this was actually one that we actually did end up seeing in theaters again as well that came out over the summer but everyone in my family my parents my brother and sister all really want to see it and it is the live action remake of the Lion King and I know this movie got a lot of kind of mixed reviews and how much it followed the original storyline but the animation just looks amazing and this was the movie we watched growing up so my brother really enjoys it my sister my parents both like it so we're definitely gonna be watching this soon I don't know about this weekend or the weekend after but definitely we will be watching this very very soon so moving on to books for new releases, I first have The Shape of Night by Tess Gerritsen and this came out earlier this month and this is Tess Gerritsen's kind of newest foray into paranormal mysteries. So it follows this girl who is kind of very much running away from her past and ends up renting this house in Maine that is kind of, it's almost like a mansion almost, um, but it's like a very... Um, like creepy old house and she goes there and these weird things start happening she's kind of seeing the ghost of the sailor that used to uh, live here and all this stuff so she this one is very much kind of a paranormal gothic tale it was very atmospheric and it took me a while to get into but I'll talk about more of this in my review, but it took me a while to get into it, but it was just very atmospheric and like Maine and it's kind of rainy in the summer and there's like this mysterious, like the house was a character of itself, which was really good. So this wasn't my favorite Tess Gerritsen book, but I'm happy to add it to my collection. So another new release that I got this month was Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, and this is Lee Bardugo's first foray into the kind of adult fantasy. Um, so I'm sure you guys heard a lot about this um, going in. Like there, it was everyone was reading this, so it was one of those few books that I kind of like the popular hyped books that I do read because I have read her Grisha trilogy, and I didn't really like Six of Crows, um, but I actually was pleasantly surprised by this one. It's a bit of a slow burn but I really liked it and I felt like fall, like Halloween season was like the perfect time to read this because it was just so, so like dark and kind of creepy and all that. So I felt like October was the first, like October, like this time of the year was like perfect to read this. And like I said, I was pleasantly surprised. Next, I have all 50 pounds of the new illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Um, I've been continuing on with my collection of these and it was something I was really looking forward to. The illustrations in here are just stunning. So I just actually listened to the audiobook for this not too long ago so I definitely will be picking this up next year so I have something to look forward to I feel because especially now like the books are getting longer there's like a two-year gap in between releases I would assume now. That's how it was for this one so um yeah I definitely will be picking this up next year so I have something to look forward to but Oh my goodness, the illustrations are just amazing. So next, this is a book that I have already read. I read the library book for this over the summer and I really enjoyed it. So I have the first book in paperback, so I wanted to keep the series consistent 
for how they are on my bookshelf. So I got the second book in the One Trilogy by Nora Roberts and it's of Blood and Bone. Um, like I said, I just wanted the paperback edition. I've read this one and the new, the next one, the final one comes out in, in November, which I'm super excited for. I already have it on hold at the library. So hopefully, fingers crossed, like I'll be one of the first people to, um, you know, be in line for that. But this is just a really good trilogy. It's basically, if you're familiar with Nora Roberts' magic system, it ties into that. But essentially there is this apocalypse that goes and kind of kills, wipes out two-thirds of the population within a week. And those that are immune to this kind of virus are those who have some magic in them. And as you can see, that can cause some problems. And this one is just a continuation of it. So I'm, like I said, I'm super excited for the next one to come out. This series is just so, so good. And lastly, this is a book that me and my friend will be reading for our book club. And this is a book she reads every Christmas. So I was like, okay, I have to pick up my copy for this. And it's a book I've seen actually for years and I just never ended up picking it up myself. And it is Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren. Miracle and Ace and there's also a Netflix movie coming out on this um, in November as well so I think it's just like three ill-timed stories on Christmas Eve I don't really want to know too much about this I know my friend said this is probably one of her favorite books to read at Christmas time so I had to pick up my copy but yeah I'm, I haven't read a John Green book in a really long time and I'm he for me he's like hit or miss so we'll see but I'm excited to uh, read this with my friend and then we'll watch the movie and probably discuss it and yeah that's something just to look forward to in kind of the holiday season and all of that so that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what some new releases were that you got this month and all of that fun stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye guys